Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the F1 2020 game experiment. Today we're going to see, be seeing what happens when you put a V10 engine in the back of the My Team car. First of all if you go on to enjoy this video then leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. If you have recently subscribed then I really appreciate it. I'm now up to 287 subscribers so uh, the channel is definitely growing. Well, and you can also download the performance mod uh, for yourself. Um, in, I'll make sure that'll be in the description below. It probably, as usual, the day after upload. Um, so yes, first of all, I'm just setting a lap time in the V6 to, just to get a comparison. I've done a com also a comparison in Italy uh, where we did the one with the Ferrari. But let's get in to the V10 engine then and see what it sounds like. A V10 engine, definitely one of the uh, better sound, sounding engines we've ever had. Uh, obviously, Fernando Alonso's outing in the V10 um, at Abu Dhabi sort of uh, made us miss what a sound those engines produced. Uh, yes, we're also ro uh, using the Quadrant livery. I'll leave a link where you can download this from Race Department as well. It was made by the one that was made by Arrow. I think why not? Um, I don't think anybody's actually used it in a video yet, so. Um, Yes, um, yes. Um, you can see there our time. We're not. We're not actually that bad. I think definitely there is a deficit because um, the V10 engine is not is not turbo to go wide, hit the wall, and that's our time gone. We could have beaten our time. It's, uh, it was set in a Red Bull. Um, but we do go for a, another attempt um, to try and improve, but I couldn't actually improve on that lap. Um, which was actually in the end uh, two tenths down uh, the best lap that I did uh, at Singapore compared to the V6 so and it's a similar story at Italy the Ferrari one has got to be taken with a pinch of salt because that was done on a default setup at Italy so obviously there's probably about five tenths maybe that you can probably gain um, so yes, uh, we know the Ferrari is not as slow as the base level My Team car, even though it does have a, this potential. Obviously, My Team's got more potential. So yes, enough about that. Let's let's try this out in a race. Then I've gone into uh, My Team career mode. S Italy is round number three. It's the closest I could get it. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Alexander Albon, and Verstappen, Vettel, Ricardo, Stroll, and Esteban Ocon, Norris, Gasly, Carlos Sainz, and Magnussen, Raikkonen, Kvyat, Roman Grosjean, and Antonio Giovinazzi. The owner driver, Schumacher, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, here on the grid then, it's Leaf 25% race. Um, Jeff talking about going, we're going to select the correct strategy. I don't know why it does that. It's a really annoying feature in the F1 game where it selects the strategy, the alternative strategy, and not the one that you're working on. But there we go. We qualified 19th as front lights come on, and away we go. And it's a great start going down the inside of all of them. Look at the acceleration from the V10. Yes, it may not have the top end speed, but the acceleration. Beats the V6 every day. We're going to dive it down the inside of both the Renaults. Um, see if we can go around the outside. No, there's a little bit of tar banging with uh, with Ricardo on the outside there, and we're up into P10. So it's one of the better starts I've had on this game. Um, the launch, obviously, we do lack a little bit in top end speed due to the turbo, but um, and also the um, development and technology since uh, this engine to since 2004 definitely we've got a lot more technology um, so 
yes, they're definitely the the cars are definitely more faster in the top end speed, even though they've lost that acceleration. We're going to dive down both the inside of both Renaults into turn one. Left a bit of room for Ricardo. Uh, Arcon is already overtaken, and it's a comfortable move back up into t team. Uh, up into P8. Please also excuse the number on the car, the number I had to make, um, and the mighty number only has one um, number on the mods, so yes, and um, that's why it's white, because I couldn't get a colour to match. It had to be a completely different colour, so it doesn't match on the front, it does work on the back though, but we're closing up to, uh, I believe, Max Verstappen in the Red Bull, comfortably dive down. Albon is locked up as well as Vettel, of course, the news just came out recently that uh, Sergio Perez has been signing. As we're speaking of Sergio Perez, I um, mean, here he is. He's been overtaken by the man he replaced. We tried to look around the outside. Perez closes the door, but we're going to keep the foot in. Uh, using all of the rich mix and overtake, Perez had it didn't have the best of lines out of turn what two, and we're comfortably up into sixth place now getting some big points there. Schumacher unable to make the progress he wants as uh, Ricardo now is getting involved with Perez and Verstappen, the two new Red Bull teammates for next year. Um, but can't get, pa can't get past Verstappen, but he does get past Perez. And now we're right on the border with Albon and Vettel. We're going to have to do a double dive on here on the grass there. Didn't really have much stopping time. It only managed to get it in by the, uh, the skin of our teeth, really. Um, it was very close to being curtains uh, with Albon, but he fortunately saw us. Didn't really have the stopping power to affect uh, the corner there. As uh, we now move to the end of uh, lap six, we've now got the problem where Vettel and Albon start to come back at us. Can't really catch Leclerc. I think he's out of the definitely out of this one. We're going to try and keep with Vettel and keep the position. Um, we tried to do the switchback, but Vettel blocks it. But then he takes. He doesn't move on to the racing line, so um, we use the best racing line, better traction, and retain P4. But of course, now we've got the problem out of uh, Ascari. This is the weakest point for me on track, even with Rich Mix and Deer ERS. Um, the AI always gets a bit thing, and Albon's coming as well. We're going to bang tyres with Albon. Ocon somehow managed to get himself in front of Verstappen, I think. Vettel's going to come in, we're going to come in as well. Um, braking so much, we definitely closed up in the in that braking to the pit stop. I don't know what Vettel was doing. A whole load of other cars like Verstappen, Norris, and I think Perez is in as well. So obviously we're all down the end and easy one stop, soft one, mediums on. 2.3 seconds stop had faster in my team, um, but nevertheless that's, pr that's a pretty good stop. Nevertheless, we'll come out in P14 and the front of all of the media runners is uh, Albon now. This is the following lap, comes out ahead of us, but we're going to go around the outside. He's also on the hard tyres, so we've got a lot more grip than the Red Bull driver. And we're making a more positions. What is that? Back up into P4. Vettel has got Albon as well. Um, we've got Vettel tries to go around the outside, where in the corner that we both got him and Albon, nothing to do there. And we can't. We actually uh, hold on all the way to uh, the end. The pace was terrible, I'm not going to lie, on the mediums. We got Ocon on Albon. We're trying to catch, we've tr been a little bit sneaky as well, slowing them down uh, through the likes of Ascari and the middle and the uh, two Lesbos corners, just to make sure that they don't get the acceleration that they want out of those corners. It's a little bit naughty. We're going to force uh, Ocon wide. That's going to allow. Uh, Lando Norris to come up into the points. So I don't know. Again, a lot of stuff has gone on uh, behind us as we've crashed out. Oh, and the uh, racing point is uh, crashed out as well. Well, that's just that's just uh, typical. There, we do get driver of the day, but as I say, the V10 engine it sh it's shown how it the it may not have the top line speed, but the acceleration was the best thing. Obviously. We were holding everybody up in the end. Uh, I'm not going to lie, being 45 seconds behind the race leaders is probably not where we wanted to be. Um, Mick Schumacher as well, showing his strength, making up eight places up into P12 as well, uh, with the likes of uh, Norris and 
uh, excuse me, Perez and Schum Perez and Vettel uh, dropping out of the top ten as well. So yes, if you have enjoyed this, well, the last F1 2020 game experiment of this year, 2020, uh, might uh, there might be some more in 2021. Um, I haven't yet decided on what they're going to be. But if you have enjoyed, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel for new uh, to see more episodes of this. If you've got um, one that you particularly want to see, then let me know in the comments below. Until the next video, I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day. And goodbye.